uh, we were sitting at the athlete brief and they, it, I think it got posted to Instagram first what the things were. So all the coaches all had their phones out and we were reading like all the movement stand or m like just what the movements were coming up and crossover double unders and unbroken pistols. And this was before, I think it came all before the athlete briefing, uh, before Boz was able to like explain everything to us and how it all worked and stuff. But uh, yeah, I sat there with my coach. And I was like, this is my kind of workout. <laughs> I can do crop double unders. I can, I can jump rope fine. Single unders are no problem. And the only, literally on that workout, the only thing I was worried about was getting out of the first round, because mm. that those first three pegboards were, because um, I've never used them with the plexiglass before. That was the only thing that would have been foreign at the games for me on that one. Mm -hmm. So, um, that was my biggest worry in that event. And then after I got out of the first round, I was like, okay, we can, we can do this. What was your experience like, <clears throat> excuse me, with uh, crossover double unders going into, into that event? I've, I've never done crossover double unders. I've done crossover single unders, just playing around with the jump rope in the gym and just messing around. And I feel like I can adapt to like the obscurity things a little bit easier. So, I mean, you just crossed and then opened up your hands really fast. And that's kind of how my thought process was with it. And, we did it a few times in the warm-up area right after we found out and got briefed by it. And my coach looked at me and was like, put the rope down. We don't need to do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was going to be my next question. Is it's I always love to see the reaction of the athletes and see what goes on underneath when I have a chance when something like that is announced. What was it like you know, at the Alliant Energy Center with all these you know, elite athletes picking up different jump ropes and trying to figure this thing out before the event? It, yeah, I mean, I mean, I didn't really pay too much attention to anybody else. I just kind of just stayed in my lane. I was like, well, I'm going to give it hell. I mean, I can do it. And I see like some other people are messing up or they're talking too much about it or things like that. And I'm just like, I'm just going to be quiet and <laughs> see what's out there. But again, that was the third stage. It was like, yeah. you got to get there to do them. Mm -hmm. So that was, again, my first, my worry was that first round. Right. Describe the feeling. What was it like once you... You got the okay, you finished those crossovers, and you look left and right. I mean, I remember that vividly. You finishing, and then kind of no one else is with you, and it's like, oh, okay, we got someone. Someone's gonna do it. What was that like for you on the floor in the, in the pop from the crowd? I mean, that was crazy. Like, the last thing I expected when I was going to the games is I was gonna win an event that wasn't like a strength event, I guess. I mean, I feel like I'm one of the stronger guys, but little, I didn't think I would have won something like that, but. Yeah, as soon as I finished the crossover double unders, I knew the pistols were gonna be no problem. Legs were a little shaky just from like adrenaline at that point. So like losing balance and stuff was, was like, just stay focused and finish the event. Um, and then I walked up to the L sit and I was like, okay, first try, take a breath. If you get up, you win the event. And basically kicked up. And as soon as I was up, up upside down on the parallel bars, I was like, oh my God, I just won the event. <laughs> I walked down the ramp, saw the yellow line, and I was just, it was over from there. It was just great. Oh, man. Had you done that movement or that variation? Have you played with anything like that? Because there was some, there were some videos circulating of people testing out some of the, you know, whether it's low bars or parallettes or anything like that, you know, uh, support to kind of handstand stuff because, you know, of who Boz is and his background. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I've, I've played with it before. I mean, I've done a lot of different variations of fitness and before CrossFit, I did like bodybuilding, powerlifting primarily, but I always enjoyed trying to be like athletic with just other things. Mm. Handstand walking up uh, a hill in my neighborhood or going to gymnastics open gym nights and playing on their parallel bars and rings and trampoline floors and doing flips and stuff like that. I was a wrestler, so the body awareness came pretty easily in terms of stuff like that and like just body weight strength so yeah isn't that, isn't that crazy how like that general curiosity for you has pay, paid such like huge dividends I mean, you know it's it's part of the the fitness in 100 words right like the famous prescription from from glassman back in the day about you know regularly learn and play new sports and, and i'm always fascinated how that curiosity gets uh, you know, can pay dividends. And, and it sounds like, you know, you just generally have that, that curiosity for other areas. For sure. And I mean, I've been personal training and with clients and stuff for the last 10, 12 years. And I've met a lot of people just and networked with a lot of people throughout. And me going to try out these things have been with like 
prior clients. Like I've had clients that are gymnasts and then they're like, hey, we got open gym on Friday nights. Come, let's go flip around and do some crazy stuff. Or I'd have other clients that were like, yeah, I have a friend that owns a ninja gym. So we're going to go to his barn and do ninja warrior stuff. And um, just different variations of things like that. Seeing what other people are doing in the gym in terms of bodybuilding competitions or how much weight can you back squat or things like that. And I always, I'm pretty competitive. So I always took that as like a challenge and I wanted to go and show up and show my best at each thing that I tried. Thanks so much for watching our video. Be sure to comment below, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos just like this one. Follow us on Instagram at Talking Elite Fitness. Be sure to subscribe to get all of our audio episodes when they drop on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.